I think disruption is innovation. I think doing something different is what we consider innovation. It doesn't mean that you have to recreate the entire wheel. Hi, I'm Monica and I'm here at Midday Squares in Montreal, Canada. Midday Squares, if you haven't yet heard about them after today's segment, you will certainly walk away with your curiosity piqued. I'm here with Jake Carls, one of the co-founders of Midday Squares. Jake, I am so thrilled. Tell me about Midday Squares, the brand. Midday Squares is a chocolate company. We're trying to build the next biggest chocolate snacking company worldwide. Forget about just Canada, United States. We're trying to go global. And I think what's unique about our brand is it's something that's culturally relevant to today. We focus on telling a story that actually emotionally connects to the consumer. We show you the good, the bad, the ugly. Reality show on entrepreneurship. Nothing about the product, more about how we build this business to hopefully a unicorn status or a failure. And I say both because it's possible that both can happen. And what that does is it creates a deeper connection with the consumer. When you go to that grocery store, you feel like you're buying from someone you know, a neighbor, a friend, or a family member. So that's the narrative we're trying to portray. Why chocolate? Chocolate is over $100 billion annually. Health bars are over $20 billion annually. All we did was took a Venn diagram and just made the middle part of it because that way if we said we were a chocolate bar, there's a whole market for that. And if we said a health bar, that's an emerging category that's growing. So we wanted best of both worlds, but we lean more on the chocolate side because there's no better vibes than chocolate. It makes you happy. It's a moment when you're sad, you have it. Chocolate is what we grew up on and we want to basically make it healthier as we continue to grow older. So what kind of values do you say Midday Squares the brand emotes? I think two are really important. Number one is good vibes. And I don't say good vibes only because you can't be good vibes only, we're human. So in our culture, we amplify that. We have this energy where we want our consumers to feel that and our teammates. And the second thing is be right more than you are wrong. That's a really important value of ours because if you are, then by chance, by statistics, you likely will get somewhere over time. Who would you say your customers are? So I love this question because for us, we have many different types of customers. At first, we thought it was just females between 25 and 60 years old. But then we started to notice a lot more customers were coming in from different angles. Our brand talks to the consumer that loves the hustle, that loves the radical transparency. But at the end of the day, our product's being bought by everyone that likes dark chocolate. Talk to me about being an entrepreneur. It is a 24-7 journey. Sometimes it feels like the challenges outweigh the benefits. It's painful, and I say this with the love for entrepreneurship. You know, coming to this journey, I didn't know how hard it was gonna be. I thought, you know, you go on magazines, you get, you know, re revenue, you, you raise money, you do cool things. But then you start to see that there's a whole other side of the journey where it's pain and it's ups and downs. And if you can't figure out how to balance that, you're gonna have a very hard time because the pressure is a pressure cooker. And I think that that's what I've learned over the last decade of entrepreneurship is that it's not just sunshine and rainbows. It's a lot of hard work, like you said, 24 seven, but I believe so much in the vision of what we're trying to do and the fulfillment for me is so powerful that I continue going on it. Where do you see midday squares in the next five, 10 years? I mean, when I put my business hat on, are you building yourself up to potentially be acquired? Or are you building yourself up to be this multinational conglomerate to do the acquisitions? 